Hi, my my case today. I'm just gonna leave posted online for like 12 hours, but it's um the thing that breathes inside me and takes my uh, breathing. There's no purpose for it. It's not an annoying test. It's a obsessive compulsive abuse of power. It got created because the deal with that was originally it was hidden inside of me and it wasn't supposed to be found. And it was responsible for doing all my things, giving someone else claim to me. But it didn't work out and I got Taylor and Selena to figure out that it was in there. And so now it's turned into like the dog. He just wants to be on the center of attention when he's making fun of me and doing things to me. The problem is, is, is when you when you realize why he's in there and able to speak at me, you can understand the truth for why he's there. What it used to be was I wasn't supposed to be doing a music show. They were just supposed to ask me to do things and have me work with people and they would judge my human demeanor. And then they would go over the recordings and say, well, this is what he thought, so this is what kind of person is. So this is what kind of treatment we're gonna give him. And he didn't like that I'm a really good person and didn't think. So really all of his thinking, even now, because that's what he was originally there for, is nothing more than whenever I, I think of an opinion, he throws his two cents in on top of it every time. But why? Because originally it, he wasn't supposed to be in the show. He was just supposed to be in there. And that was going to be the two cents extra that they added to those recordings that they would go over if I hadn't got the music show. They would have said, okay, well, when he was when he went over thinking about 10 years, 10 years of bad luck that he's gonna have to go through, he actually added two cents at the end of it and said, well, I do deserve it because I, I pr it'll probably do me good and I probably do deserve it. Right there, so he would have added something like that. <clears throat> In fact, I don't know if he did add a bunch of stuff like that and that's why this lasted for so long. But I figured out that's what the original intention of this thing inside me that breathes and competes with my breathing and uses my heart muscle to do it. It's a, it's an anti-current inside of me. It, it doesn't run with my body current. He can do whatever he wants with it. And he's very annoying and he does it every time. And that's because it annoys me. And so now he, he acts like it's a test. I just have to ignore it. No, no, no. You could do a test. But you don't do a test that does damage and forces a damaged body system in a human body system that's perfect. You see, what, what, what was the, the root of this problem is that whenever I got murdered in the past, I would come back after I temporarily die and wake up and I would fix myself and make myself perfect again. So I, I, I would claim that they probably use the excuse, he, he's gonna be able to make himself perfect again as the reason for doing these annoying tests to me. But that's not an annoying test. You are actually taking your obsessive compulsive behavior with attacking me and abusing your power with your federal waiver on me to damage my heart system so that I believe they have schematics of 1980 when my heart failed me. And they're looking at every human uh, heart fiber muscle strand that I, I had that was damaged and I think that the dog is growing on all the ones that were damaged. And if I ever do win this thing, they're gonna say, fine, cut the dog out. And when they do cut it out, my heart's not gonna work as good as it once did. And it's gonna be just as bad as 1980. Because it's gonna be just as bad as being shot with like 20 bullets. But we didn't shoot him with a bullet. Yeah, but what does a bullet do? You shoot someone, the bullet hits you and puts a hole in your, your, your body. This thing puts holes all through my body. What he does to me is the equivalent of shooting me with a gun from the inside all day long. Nothing but holes. And I don't care if I'm gonna make myself perfect. You don't damn it, you don't just run a test on me and say, well, we're taking for granted the fact that John lives forever. You you have to stop taking for granted the fact that I, I'm gonna be able to make myself perfect again and just do a regular test on me. That's my, why my parents raised me normal. I didn't see, they raised me normal, I could have. They got me glasses in the second grade and I wore them one day, or third grade and I put them down and I didn't wear them again. 
There was a time when I could have seen, but I didn't. And and you know what? They always told me to think every day. John, if I ever did anything stupid, you know, they'd be like, John, think. You got to think. You got to think. This is Dan and Carol did this. No one else. They'd be like, you got to think. You got to think. You got to think. They didn't raise me to be a um, guy that's going to just not think and take for granted that he can make himself perfect again. Because they were the ones that were handed a Judas that was two feet tall. Because I had been thrown in a box for three months. Shrunk. So yeah, this this this, is a, this guy that breathes on me is the problem I'm discussing right now. And he's got to stop doing it. He does it to be annoying. And he wants me to ignore it. But I can't ignore it. It's a breathing pattern inside of me that's in competition with my heart. And your heart and breathing are supposed to be in sync. And he's in there making noises in my body. Literally. He's trying to untrain my heart. I don't feel that it's funny or entertaining or anything. As a matter of fact, I think it's not entertaining at all. And I think he's disgruntled because Taylor and Selena figured out what he was doing. And I think he wanted to stay in there in secret and make me fail all my tests when they would go over the recordings. And he got caught. So now he's just crazy, obsessive, obsessively, compulsively, annoyingly abusing his power and the fact that he has a federal waiver to be in there to just try to get me to lash out in public so he can film it and say, there, he's ineligible. Now he doesn't have to get anything. Look how bad he screamed this time. It has to stop, guys. It has to come to an ending point. And you can't take for granted that I'm going to be able to make myself perfect and let him continue to put all these dangerous holes in me. He has access to, he has the Navy SEALs built everything for him. They know exactly what my body looked like when it failed in 1980. And I would not put it past them that they have the dog on every single goddamn important muscle I need. And I'm going to have to cut the dog out, including that muscle. And I'm going to be in the same boat again. Where I won't be able to start my heart up. Thanks. Thanks, America.